I wonder if I might ask you for a favor. Of course, Your Grace. Ned Stark's youngest daughter, Arya. We can't seem to locate her. If she's escaped the capital, Winterfell seems the logical destination. And yet my friends in the North report no sign of her. Curious. If we choose to negotiate for the Starks, the girl has some value. Whoever finds her, well, you know what they say about Lannisters and debts. Well, you could ask Varys where she is. She'll have an answer for you, whether you believe it myself. I have always had a hard time trusting eunuchs. Who knows what they want? Hmm. The Mockingbird. You created your own sigil, didn't you? Yes. Appropriate for a self-made man with so many songs to sing. I'm glad you like it. Some people are fortunate enough to be born into the right family. Others have to find their own way. I heard a song once about a boy of modest means. Found his way into the home of a very prominent family. He loved the eldest daughter. Sadly, she had eyes for another. When boys and girls live in the same home, awkward situations can arise. Sometimes I've heard even brothers and sisters develop certain affections. And when those affections become common knowledge, well, that is an awkward situation. Indeed, especially in a prominent family. Prominent families often forget a simple truth. I've found. And which truth is that? Knowledge is power. Seize him. Cut his throat. Stop. Oh, wait. I've changed my mind. Let him go. Step back three paces. Turn around. Close your eyes. Power is power. Do see if you can take some time away from your coins and your whores to locate the star girl for me. I would very much appreciate it. Your Sir Alton Lannister. <laughs>